Hi everyone, it's Kristen. Welcome back to Bailey Cabin. Today, as you saw, I have another Grove Collaborative unboxing haul for you. Uh, it seems like mine are getting closer and closer together as I'm finding more and more products that I'm falling in love with. So bear with me while I um, go through another big box with you and I hope you find something that you enjoy. My um, This purchase was a pretty good deal because I had three friends, three of you, sign up last time, which meant I got three um, $10 credits towards my purchase. So um, as you get signed up and you get people to sign up, we're all sharing in the clean household and getting free products for ourselves and each other. So it's a fun way to share things. Um, so let's get started and see what we have this time. And I got new glasses. What do you think? Now I can see you and I can see writing on everything and I'm not doing the on and off thing. Or I'll probably still do the on and off thing just because I'm not used to wearing them yet and what I look like yet. Okay. First of all, we have 100% recycled trash bags. So as we're getting more and more news about, um, at least for me, the sea critters that they're finding with plastic um, in their bellies, um, the more I am conscious and aware of all the plastic that I use on a daily basis. Um, I am one of those people that has to have a, a liner in my trash um, containers. So um, I do use sometimes the recycled grocery or the grocery bags that we get, although I'm trying to be better and remember my reusable bags. Um, but these are 100% recycled, and this is Living Lands and Waters, and it says for every 50 boxes of trash bags sold, we'll remove one pound of garbage from America's rivers. So, um, oh, and it's on the reverse, it says how much waste is produced by Americans every year. So, again, one of those things, those small things that we can do to... Uh, reduce what we're putting in the landfills, what we can uh, reduce uh, things that are getting into our oceans, things that we can um, be conscious of and reward companies that are using recycled products. So um, looking forward to trying these out. They look like they're a really decent quality. They're not going to fall apart um, and have things dump on the on the ground when you go to take them out. Um, so glad to add this to our stash. Uh, one of my freebies this time was a microfiber all-purpose cloth and you do get to choose what color and I went with gray. Oh, there's two, even better. And I am also trying to use less paper towels and use more reusable, washable cloths um, when I'm cleaning and um, around the house. I have lots of them, but I always take more, especially when they're freebies. And these are the Grove Collaborative brand and they feel really nice. So that's one of my freebies. I am trying the Yes to Coconut Ultra Hydrating for Dry Skin Moisturizing Facial Wipes. This is, looks like 40 wipes for the price of 30. I did the Yes to Blueberries last time or the time before and um, they stung a little bit and I've got some dryness around my nose and they stung quite a bit um, around that area. So I'm gonna switch over to something that's more hydrating and seeing it, see if that'll make a difference. Um, when, I don't, when I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, I'll usually um, use just wipes at night or I'll use them in, in the morning just to make my um, routine a little bit faster 
So looking forward to trying these. And actually, I think the, the blueberry ones came from Target. They did not come from Grove Collaborative, although I think you can buy them on there. Another freebie this time was the um, spring stoneware tray. I do like this design. I have the um, dish towel that I got last time. So it's really spring, pretty springtime design. I traded my mom the pomegranate one for just a plain white one because I'm not super fond of the pomegranate. Um, but she likes it, so we traded. But I do like the, the spring one a lot. So another freebie. And I'm not using an external microphone today, so if you've watched one of my previous videos and you're noticing a significant difference, if you could let me know um, one way or another, if it's better, worse, the same. Um, I found the, <laughs> the bag for my microphone and my microphone was not in it. So we're winging it and hoping that it's gonna go okay. So if you have a uh, preference one way or another, please let me know. Thanks. Okay, next we have Aunt Fanny's Aunt Remedy. So we are, like I have said any number of times, out in the country, or the forest, the forestry country, and we get ants marching through here periodically. So I thought I would try this um, from Aunt Fanny's. I know you can make your own, but I thought it was, you know, inexpensive enough. I think it was $6.99 maybe uh, that I would try something that's already done. Uh, it says kid-friendly microbe, microbiome friendly and unfriendly. That's what that looks like. Uh, each one, each of us is our own microbiome. Okay. I did not know that. With gazillions of invisible allies that keep us safe and strong, even natural products can disrupt it. Stay safe and be strong with Aunt Fanny's modern products, millions of years in the making. Get rid of ants and other creepy crawlies without carpet bombing your home and conventional chemical pesticides. Easy and highly effective, Aunt Fanny keeps your home free of toxins and concern. We make our products with ingredients made by nature. So hopefully that'll keep the ants outside where they belong. And next we have Mrs. Meyer's Clean Day Room Freshener in the Mint Scent. We have been using the Honeysuckle, which I like a lot. So I got the mint to go in the um, upstairs and we've got the honeysuckle downstairs. Let's see here. I know I like the mint because they make it and whoops. Yeah, that's nice. It's a clean mint, clean mint scent. And this is a limited edition. Scent, so if it's one you're fond of, make sure you uh, go grab that soon. And what else have we got here? Um, oh, this is another getting to be bug season purchase. This is Fly Punch Fruit, Fra fruit Fly Trap. Get rid of fruit flies fast and safe near food. This is from Aunt Fanny's. Also, and I made my own fruit fly thing last year, and but I didn't get it to work. So hopefully this does. Um, all you do is remove the seal, open the flip top cap, and place near fruit flies. Watch the circle of life unfold. It's basically vinegar, water, ethyl lactate, and citrus pulp. And I think what I made mine out of last year was apple cider vinegar and just soap, maybe, which probably the same thing. 
but maybe since I paid for it, it will work. <laughs> so that's the uh, fly punch fruit fry, fly, fruit fly trap. And we have another repurchase here. This is the three in one oxy boosting packs for laundry and um, this is 25 packs. I have been adding this to my laundry. I think um, if you saw the haul that I got these the first time, I'm trying to not use chlorine bleach, but my whites have been getting pretty gray. So I'm looking for an alternative to, um, to being gray or using chlorine bleach. These seem to be making a difference and these are safe on colors as well. So I do use it in all of my loads. Um, and it does seem to be brightening a little bit better. Um, uh, let's see. There's anything in here formulated with oxygen bleach to lift tough stains, whiten and brighten your clothes for an ultimate clean. I don't know if I'll, if my whites will ever get back to their original whiteness, but, um, we'll give it a shot. And, um, Zoe was in heat in one of my last videos. She's now spayed. Can you see her little belly? And she's much happier now. So. My, my girl. Another new product for me is the Acure Brightening Night Cream. I have several Acure products now. Uh, this is made with argan oil, chlor chlorella, and echinacea, and is for all skin types. And little goes a long way a pat ply adapt to face neck and decrepe after cleansing and toning hit the hay and let the magic happen while you catch some z's treat your face to the stuff your skin dreams of in the middle of the night echinacea and argan oil are joining forces to moisturize protect and hydrate so you can stay start your day off right and this is 1.7 Fluid ounces. So excited to try that. It's paraben free, sulfate free, mineral oil free, petroleum free, petro petrolatum free, silicone free, and cruelty free. And um, this is the Wood for Good Squirt and Mop Wood Floor Cleaner in almond scent. I don't know that there were choices for the scent, but we have um, this method wood spray at work and it smells so good that I said, oh yeah, that needs to go on my list at home. Yeah, it's just delicious. And, and that almond again reminds me of my granny. So I will um, enjoy mopping the floors with that. Zoe, kitty, kitty, kitty. And coffee filters again. I know I just got these last time and we did not drink 100 pots of coffee in the last three or three and a half weeks, but um, we had a coffee pot meltdown. And so we switched coffee pots and we are on the cone filters now. The um cup what are they called i guess just the cup filters work fine um i didn't think they were going to so i went ahead and ordered the cone filters but it's not like these cost very much and having extras is never a bad thing so if you care um compostable coffee filters totally unbleached totally chlorine free so I'm proud to have these in our home. This is another repurchase for me. These are the Method Fragrance Boosters in Ginger Mango. 
and um, this is my entire laundry routine is the ginger mango from method now i have the detergent i have the fragrance boosters and i have the fabric softener and i'm really happy with all of them so far and i really like the scent um they're these aren't as if you use the um i'm gonna forget what they're called again <laughs> ah they're not freeze downy downy unstoppables if you use them and you use a lot um, you're probably used to having a really strong um, laundry fragrance that sticks around for a, a while. Um, these are not that strong, but it's not a bad thing. So you can still smell it, but um, I was always really conscious of it. And now it's just a mild, um, it's noticeable, but it's not like from a distance. It's not... I'm going to conflict with perfumes or shampoos or anything like that. So um, I really, really am enjoying that. And this is a new one for me also. This is the ceramic cooktop cleaner and protectant. I was using the um, degreaser from method i believe and i just happened to read the label again the other day and you're not supposed to use it on ceramic um, cooktop so um i needed to get something that we could use on there just want to smell it, it says fresh citrus but I guess I kind of smell it. It's nothing um, uh, powerful. It's not um, like some of the other method or uh, Mrs. Myers where you, it's a really powerful um, scent. It just it doesn't smell like chemicals, which is the other good piece of it. So uh, it says for ceramic glass and enamel cooktops, sleek modern cooktops look great, shiny, clean, and spotless, but when we're cooking they don't always stay that way. In our house that's the case. Uh, wipe away spills and reset your kitchen to beautiful with planet conscious formula that will leave your cooktop sparkling clean. No caustics, dyes, synthetic fragrances, parabens, phthalates? Chlorine, formaldehyde, triclosan, or phosphates. Never tested on animals. Shake well and spray on surface. Surface, concentrate on problem areas. Rub until stains disappear. If spills are baked on, apply extra formula and carefully rub with an abrasive pad. As a final step, apply a small amount of cleaner to shine and protect the surface. Use every day for a happy, healthy kitchen. All right, so that was that for this time. Again, my freebies. Oh, it doesn't say on here. Um, we have the stoneware tray and the uh, microfiber cloths. And then I had $30 in credit from um, three people signing up using my link. So a nice big haul here with new products, some redos, reorders. So I'm going to put these away, try out some new stuff and let you know how it's working. And just as a report back from last time, I am using the Acure um, shampoo. I'm using two shampoos, the peppermint and the pumpkin and argan oil um, shampoos. And I'm using the pumpkin and um, argan 
um, conditioner and I looked them up on um, Curl Spot, which is a um, website that you can check um, ingredients against the Curly Girl method and what is recommended for curly hair. And um, there's one um, ingredient that is kind of iffy. They're, they're safe, um, but they're, it's controversial in the Curly Girl um, uh, community as to whether it's a um, recommended product or not. But again, personally, I am really enjoying them. My hair is feeling really conditioned, really healthy. Uh, the peppermint shampoo is for uh, volume and I definitely am noticing a difference on the days that I use that for volume. Um, I've been using the Acure um, facial cleansing foamer, which I'm also really loving. Um, method body wash, again, that I really, really like. That is the, um, uh, what flavor is that? I'm going to forget. Is it the grapefruit? Maybe I should have looked first, but, um, really it feels so clean and you're not tight. Like a lot of uh, body soaps, you're not greasy, um, any of that. Um, what else have I tried? lately that um, you probably saw me haul. We talked about laundry, um, the daily shower spray, which was a refill last time. Again, using that a lot, really love it. Um, oh, the toilet bowl cleaner I got last time and that works really nicely and it smells really good. And, um, you know, for however many years I clean toilets with um, the Clorox or um, whatever super chemical um, toilet cleaners and you were left feeling, you know, like you had something you, you had to not get on your skin to begin with or you wanted to get it off really quickly um, and your bathroom or kitchen or whatever smelled really um, artificial, chemically, chemical. Uh, after cleaning and now my bathrooms just smell so nice between all the cleansers that I'm using and um, I'm not worried that the fumes are affecting uh, our pets or our granddaughter when she comes over and um, spraying counters and things like that around food um, things like that I, I just am feeling really good about the transition in our home we'll get there Eventually, um, bit by bit, um, I, again, have been comparing the prices to um, Kroger where we, well, it's Fred Meyer in our area, but it's a Kroger brand. And um, most of the Mrs. Meyers and Method products, if available, um, are more expensive. And we do the majority of our shopping there so um, because their prices are, are good. Um, so I've been really happy with the whole Grove um, experience. We are, I, there is one thing that I'm going to, or two things that I'm going to email customer service about, and I'll let you know um, after I get a response. But um, both of the replaceable brushes that we got, the heads are popping off and they're not staying on. So the walnut scrubber, um, sponge scrubber and the scrubby scrubber um, have removable or replaceable heads. I didn't have a problem with them until after my husband used them and he was complaining that they kept popping off and I said, I haven't had a problem with them. I don't know what's going on. Well, now I can't get them to stay on either. So I'm going to email customer service um, at Grove and see what they have to say about that. Um, and I will report back to you and let you know what my experience was. Other than that, um, I think that's it for this time. I've got more boxes coming. I have a um, Target Beauty box here. I have more videos that I did last week that haven't been uploaded yet. So I'm gonna try and get three uh, a week up at least. Um, for you to watch. I've got, um, I think, another Target box coming 
today and um, Allure's on the way and um, I don't remember which, which else. Oh, and I made a Sephora order. So that's coming too. Um, so I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the products that you've seen here, anything that you've seen in my prior Grove hauls that you have questions about, um, would like an honest review about, let me know. I am happy to share honest opinions about this, this is not sponsored at all. And um, I want you to be as happy with your experience as I am. So I will always give you my honest opinion about that. So again, thank you for joining me. I appreciate you taking the time and um, choosing my videos to watch. If you uh, want to get in touch with me, you can email me at baileycabin at gmail.com. Go Cougs. Go Blazers, uh, amazing playoff game last night, and um, we will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.